Hi hey everyone, it's Nisty here. Welcome to this month's Shop My Stash. So this is gonna be for November and December. I'm gonna keep these projects in through the holidays and then start all over in January. So if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I like to do these not only rolling style, but I also do a get ready with me. So everything on my face is what I've pulled from my stash our collection hoard, whatever you want to call it. And I did film it with my phone. Um, it's probably going to be really, really shaky because I'm a shaky beesh, but hopefully it's pretty decent footage. But yeah, so let me talk you through first. I'm going to talk you through what I used last month and if it's staying or if it's going, and then I will introduce what I'm bringing into this project. So let's get it going. Like I said in the intro, I am going to talk to you just real quick about what I used over the last month, whether it's staying or whether it's going, and then we'll get into picking the new products. So let's start with primer. I have the Becca First Light Priming Filter and then the L'Oreal Illumi Glotion. If you've missed it, I've already posted my foundation and primer, concealer, and setting spray inventories. Um, the next video that will go up after this one will be my blushes and my bronzers. So in that, I showed that I have like three of these. <laughs> it's not cruelty free, which sucks. <clears throat> I think I mentioned in another video that um, I'm not gonna try to go cruelty free in 2021, but hopefully starting in 2022, when I've worked through some of my stash, um, I can start making a, a bigger commitment to being cruelty free. So um, I, I would get the lotion, the Lumi lotion over this, but I'm keeping both of them. <clears throat> For concealers, I have the NYX Born to Glow. I don't like this, but I feel like it's almost empty. Like I can see windows in this. So I'm gonna keep this in, in this project, to see if I can finish it up before the end of the year. So it's not my favorite. I don't love it. Um, yeah, I just don't like it. As far as my Sleek Compact, um, this was also the Concealer Compact. I'm keeping it for these darker shades. I love a cream bronzer, or cream uh, bronzer or highlighter, cream bronzer or a cream contour. And I really enjoyed using these shades, especially these two in that way. So I'm gonna keep this. I've moved it out of my concealer inventory into my bronzer um, inventory. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it. <clears throat> this one, this is okay. This isn't bad, this isn't great. Um, I didn't get a chance to use it very, very much because I'm working on that Stila kitten. I've got a huge, it's the only thing in my whole entire collection that has pan. So I'm trying to finish it before the end of the year. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it or not, but this was okay. Um, this blush topper right here is really, really pretty. This is, it's, it looks white, but it comes, it's gold. It's like a white gold, like a like a duochrome maybe? I don't know. It's really, really pretty. I like it. It's sticking around. My blush, I pulled the Romantic Rose Mini Blush from Milani. I love Milani blushes. They are just so, so good. I really wanna try. Elf came out with a putty blush and Milani came out with a cream blush and it's all I can do not to buy them. Maybe um, Santa can bring them to me or something for Christmas because they're just so pretty and I love cream products. Again, I'm older and I'm dry, I have dry skin and I just think they're beautiful. Do I need another blush? No. <laughs> Does that make me want it less? Also, no. For my highlighter, I pulled the Flexitarian by ColourPop. I love this formula. I know not everybody does, but I, I just can't. It's just so soft and buttery and creamy and delicious. I've gotten two more with that That's Tote collection. And I am, um, and I'm also gonna film a video about what I want to pan next year. And this is probably gonna be go into my Partners in Cream. I want to do that one. And then I created my own. Um, I am do. I'll have another video about it. Maybe that video should go up before this one. So I really want to focus on like this and some other cream products and the Partners in Cream um, one. I'm gonna start it in January. And then I've also started my own project pan um, that there should be a separate video about it. I don't know which one will go up first, but I'm doing all of expensive items. So check that out if you wanna join me. So I'm keeping it. Last but not least, we have um, foundations. I don't feel like I wore this combo enough to see if I want to keep it or not. Um, 
they did work beautifully together though. I did have to be a little careful. These are matte. These are the Revolution Pro Foundation Drops. And then this is the L'Oreal Fresh Wear. I don't like this concealer on its own, but together, if I didn't go too heavy on these drops, it looked beautiful. I was on Revolution site last night. Don't say nothing to me. <laughs> and they actually came out with an entire kit of lighteners. And there's like four different shades of like an eye. There's like a pure white. There's an, a yellow one that has like a yellow tint. There's one that has like a pink tint. And I think there's one that has a green tint. So that is something that I may consider um, later down the road. But luckily, I showed my mixers in my um, inventory. So yeah, okay, so what I've done, so that's it, that's everything. This is staying in, everything else is going away. Um, I don't include um, eyebrow products or mascaras because I try not to have um, more than one set of that going um, and you'll see them when I do the Get Ready With Me. Another thing that I plan on doing this month that I didn't do next month, or didn't do last month, last month I pulled that blush palette, like a face palette. This time I may skip the face palette because I wanna pull in a couple of eyeshadow palettes. Um, that way I'm working on my eye, pin those eyeshadows, but I'm also getting use out of something else in my stash. Um, it, there, there's no goal, there's no painting goal with them. They're just meant to be complimentary and give me a few more shades to play with. Um, with my pin those eyeshadows, which I've, I'm doing okay. I'm gonna have to rework some goals, but we'll talk about that in that video in the middle of the month. So I've added all of my I've added all of my um, makeup into the tiny decisions. Spin the wheel, sorry, spin the wheel. You can see them there. So I am recording <clears throat> my screen, so I'm gonna pop up this footage as we choose. Let's start with eyeshadow palettes. I want two of them. All right then. <laughs> switch to my phone and I'll we'll shot my stash that way. I was trying to set up my tripod for you but I couldn't figure it out so the lighting is probably going to be atrocious but we're going to get through it. So first off are my palettes. This is where I keep my ColourPop palettes. Oh I need to put these away. <laughs> Oops. Okay, and California Love is all the way back there in the back. <laughs> we have California Love and then Lilac, which I don't think I've used yet. And then for primer, foundation, and setting spray, I got the Juvia's Place 
stick foundation. Got the Dream Urban Cover. Is that the bottle or the squeezy tube? I honestly don't remember. Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? Okay, it's the squeezy tube. All right, for primer, I got the AOA Illuminating and the Milani Prime Perfection. For a setting spray, I have the J Cat and the Flower Hydrating. right <laughs> I was like what did I do okay so I need the J cat mm -hmm. mm -hmm. all right panning this way messy desk messy desk messy desk <laughs> for concealers I got the conceal and correct these are my correctors and then I got the Maybelline. Maybelline, why can't you be true? So this is all concealers. This is lips. This is lips. <laughs> oh, the BH. The BH is the truffle. And I keep that down here with my palettes. So there's all my <laughs> face palettes. All right, so it's the BH truffle blush sorry about that. this is like whoa and then i got the color pop bronzer and the fenty i don't this may be too dark we'll pull it out and look and then the wet and wild got my highlighter <laughs> So let's go through what I picked. I feel like I have to set like over here a little bit. Okay, let's start with eyeshadows. So I will try to remember to throw up a picture of what I'm already working on. And then I got the lilac, which I don't think I've used. I know I've swatched it. Yeah, no, I haven't used this. Show Bernie. And then <laughs> I got California Love. Oi, oi, oi. This is a palette that, um, I only got because I bought the best of 2019, I think. Maybe it was 2018, I don't remember. But I'm not a warm, a warm girl. <laughs> so we get that. For concealer, I got the Revolution Conceal and um, Correct. I haven't even used this yet. It's a darker peach. And then I got the Maybelline Master Conceal. I haven't used this yet either. And of course that's gonna go with my NYX Pro Glow or Born to Glow. For foundations, I got the Dream Urban Cover, which I love, I love, I love. Look, <laughs> you can see a window, because I just love it so stinking much. And then I got the Juvia's Place Stick, which I have not used yet. For primers, I got two small ones. So this is the AOA Wonder Skin Illuminating Primer. And this is the Milani Prime Perfection. You'll see in the footage of me rolling that I got the Elf Facial Oil, but I'm already working on the Maracuja Oil, Maracuja Oil, in my Roulette Project Pan. And this is taking four flipping ever, and I didn't want a second face oil. So there you go. <laughs> so I re-rolled, and I got this one. For blush, I didn't pull in two because I'm working on, in my pan, that palette, I'm using the Blush Babe and I didn't want to add another one, but I picked, I could pick this truffle. Oh, this, if you can get your hands on these, listen, the closer we get to Christmas, the cheaper BH Cosmetic will be. They've already put some of their brand new palettes on sale and it's like 70% off right now. Use Rakuten, which used to be Ebates, and you can save a ton of money but this is definitely worth the investment. For bronzer, <laughs> I got this one from Colourpop. 
Uh, this is, I don't know the shade, but it's, it looks like this. This is pretty warm. Um, and I, we'll see how it goes. My other one is a bit more cool, so maybe they'll play well together. I found the Mega Glow. It was a stick. That's why I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on in my life. And then the last one I pulled was Fenty. I think this is going to be too dark as a highlighter. I guess I can mix the two. I bet I can mix a little bit of this with the Stila to have um, a little bit of, to lighten it up a little bit. So we'll give it a go. If it doesn't work out, then I will give it away. And then last but not least for setting spray, I got the Makeup Primer Setting Spray in Jasmine. This smells so good. This is from JCat, it's really good. And then I got the Flower Seal the Deal Hydrating. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting stuff on my face. Let's start with the Illuminating Primer from AOA. I think I've swatched this, but I've never used it. Oh, oh, this stick. And I have glitter <laughs> from that eyeshadow palette all over my hands. That would be, that would be not okay. Oh, this, okay, so this is not hydrating at all. It is making me luminous though. This feels very, very drying on the skin. I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. We'll see. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some Prime and Perfect. These all may not play well together. We'll find out. It's not like I'm going anywhere. I would like to film a couple more videos and I have a telemed, <laughs> tele, yeah, no, telemed appointment with my um, neurologist today. I'm gonna keep this right around here. This smells good too. I know you don't want fragrance in your skincare, but so far so good. Nothing's bothered me. Watch me say that and then tomorrow I'll look like a pepperoni pizza. Okay, so I think since I haven't used this before, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Juvia's Place stick. I'm gonna do just a little bit because, oh, this is so yellow. <laughs> oh Lord, Misty, what you doing? What you doing with your life? This is in the color Lima. I think they're all locations, right? Lima, Lima, Peru. I would love to go. I would love to travel internationally, but I don't think that's going to be in the cards for me, which sucks, but it is what it is. We need a new bathroom, a master bath, so I can have a seat to sit on because right now I have a bench seat. For those of you who don't know, <laughs> let me just talk you through real quick. I have a couple of autoimmune diseases and one of them causes extreme muscle weakness. It's kind of under the umbrella of like muscular dystrophy or ALS or in fact, when they called me and said, um, you have a neuromuscular junction disorder, but don't Google it. Just think along the lines of like ALS. And I was like, oh my God, multiple sclerosis. <laughs> and I was just like, ah. <laughs> I'm old enough that I remember growing up and watching the Jerry Lewis telephones on Labor Day, so I knew what that crap was. But anyway, I'm using our guest bathroom, which has been my bathroom since we moved in, because our shower right now is barely able to fit Rob, and Rob is not big. Um, so we've decided that we need, that's the last room in the house that we need to redo besides the kitchen. So once we, we have one more bill, that we're working on paying off. And once we do that, then we're gonna start, you know, looking for a designer and getting quotes. I know exactly what I want it to look like, but I don't know that I can transfer that to paper, especially for a contractor, because the rest of the house, we've had a contractor do a couple of things, but nothing that <laughs> robs them the rest. Like he did all the painting and everything else. So this is nice. It, I don't, it, well, I am using a sponge because my brushes are kind of dirty. This is not bad. Not as good as my Makeup Revolution Fast Face Stick. If you watch my <laughs> foundation video, you know I have like six of those because it's my holy grail. I hate saying things are holy grail, but that 
my friends, is a holy grail. Alright, let's move on. Oh, I should have done my eyes first. Misty, <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Uh, let's do... I'm wearing gray, which is cool toned. So should I just do purple? California love. Oh my gosh, yes I... Yes, please. Look at those. <laughs> Y'all getting purple today. You're getting purple today. I'm going to fast forward through the eye look because I take forever to blend because my arms get real tired real quick. So I'll fast forward through this, maybe do a voiceover. I don't know, but this part will, will be speedy. show you guys how much stuff kicked up in the pan these shimmers are completely different than the ones in the stone cold fox i need to look to see which one of these are um super shock shadows so i just hopefully inserted a clip about how just how messy this palette is but it's beautiful so i'm going to finish the rest of my face before i do the rest so i started with zoned out in the crease then I deepened it up with filtered <laughs> what is this then this was the first shimmer and then this was the second shimmer this shimmer is absolutely gorgeous so I look like I'm dying we'll fix it I promise <laughs> so let me keep going with concealer I am going to use this corrector although it is brand new I was on the Makeup Revolution site. It's Revolution Beauty. I like to buy straight from them. It does take a little hot minute to get here, but Ulta just doesn't stock, number one, everything they come out with, and number two, they don't carry the entire shade range. And I would really like to try that new Conceal and Glow um, Illuminating Foundation. I'm not gonna get it yet. I have to finish two foundations before I will allow myself to buy another one. But I was just looking at it to see the reviews. I was also looking to see what kind of palettes they brought out for their holiday release because I have two from a couple years ago that were actually really, really good. Okay, is this gonna be too dark? <laughs> Ooh, that's dark, we'll see. We'll see. I am gonna go over with concealer, so hopefully it's not awful. I think I'm gonna use this and then just the Born to Glow. Um, Uh, let, yeah, let's go. Well, shoot. Let me see which one is. Oh, that's dark. Let's go ahead and mix the two. That's pretty dark. I know a lot of people want to use darker colors when they're on camera, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> this is makeup that I wear in, you know, in my real life. I don't just film and then take it right off immediately. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I don't want to look like a dark Oompa Loompa. It's probably going to be way too much. <laughs> a dark Oompa Loompa while I'm trying to uh, go about my day. And if I didn't have that video 
visit today wouldn't matter. I actually blend it out into a really pretty color. I like it. It's a bit more peachy. And I think some of that is has to do with the um, con the conceal and define. Probably brightened enough for now. I'm gonna leave it and we'll see what happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a blush. I picked up, like I said, it picked this one for me. And with the purple, I'm probably gonna go, I'm probably gonna mix these two together so I can get like a more neutral color. Do I have a blush brush? This doesn't exactly scream fall, but if I was, like I said, if I was wearing something else, I would, you know, consider it, but since I'm wearing something cool already, it doesn't make sense to try to do a warm tone. I know some people mix them. I hate that. I hate it for myself, I should say. I don't, I don't care what other people do, but <laughs> I hate it for myself for sure. Okay, this obviously didn't blend out around <laughs> my mouth. All right, let's use this ColourPop bronzer. Again, I can't, I can't see the shade because I don't have glasses on. That's dark. <laughs> Holy Moses. That's a dark bronzer. Right, so this foundation, I don't, I'm going to have to test it by itself with a primer I've used before. I mean, this isn't a testing video. This is just what I'm going to be wearing for the, for the month of November. <laughs> let's blend this out a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and do highlighter. Like I said, I'm using the Mega Glow um, highlighting stick. I love these things from um, Wet n Wild. Like, I, I have the um, blush ones. I had the contour one. I had the, I have the blush, like, did I say blushes? <laughs> I used to have the concealer that was actually pretty decent. So, I don't mind these at all. Okay, I'm going to put just a little bit of this Fenty one on. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see how it do. isn't it blending out? <laughs> it doesn't want to set on top of that, of that cream blush at all. It makes a little... I don't know how I feel about that pen. We'll see. We will see. All right. Let me go ahead and finish my lower lash line. Do I wear eyeliner? I probably need a little bit of eyeliner. Go ahead and put the cream gel liner in something, <laughs> something, something purple in my waterline. I don't think I'm going to do black. I hate these things. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I know a lot of people love them, but I hate them. The lead fell out somewhere and I didn't even notice it. I hate them. I won't, I won't buy any more. We'll do this light, light lilac one. These are good if you're someone who uses them right away. And you like tries to use them to completion right away. Because they just dry up and everything just falls out. Alright, I'm just gonna add a little bit of color around my lash line. Spray my face, I'll pick a lip and we'll be done. I feel like I need a liner, but I think I'm going to skip it. Let's go ahead and do the inner corner. I'm going to bring in this kind of silver shade. I think it's called Transville. Trainville? Trainwreck? Trainwreck. Good lord, Misty. <laughs> I'm going to have to 
get bifocals when I go see the optometrist in December, and I'm just too young for that. <sighs> 43 is too young for bifocals. Okay, that's not silver, that comes off purple. <laughs> I guess it is a purple, it's like an icy purple. No, I don't like it, but let me make a match. I'm bringing that kitten again. Well, I can't even feel that. <laughs> Smells so good. It smells so good. Currently working on three mascaras and just one brow gel. So the brow gel is the Milani. It's not a project. It's just open, and I want to use it up. Um, it's not my favorite. The wand is huge and bigly, and I hate that. I'm gonna use the one from my Roulette Pain collab. This is Lovecraft, yes. Lovecraft by Kat Von D. Used to be Kat Von D and is now KVD. This is it, this is my full face shop my stash video for the month of November. I may carry these products into the end of the year just because I really love this Maybelline foundation and it looks like I may be able to finish it. I mean, I could, ugh, we'll see. Um, the bronzer, it's all right. The kilowatt highlighter, I can't, I can't, I can't wear that on its own. So um, I'm gonna try mixing it a couple more times to see if I like it and if not, it'll go in the donation bin. Um, I like to donate to Project Beauty Share. Thanks so much to Taylor for introducing them. And there is, they do support a local shelter to me, but I don't think that shelter has the means to sanitize. So I don't mind sending a box to Project Beauty Share along with a little donation. That way they can send stuff back or send it out to whoever needs it. But yeah, there is a local one, but um, I just, I don't feel comfortable trying to sanitize and I, I don't want them to have to feel like they have to either and Project Bear, Project, Project Beauty Share already does that. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. <laughs> I really appreciate you. The next video we will get back to the inventory. So if you've missed it, like I said, I've posted my foundation, basically my base base products. So my foundations, excuse me, primers, setting spray, and concealers. Next up are blushes and bronzers. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I'll see you real soon. Bye for now. The blushes, um, I may swatch them all. We'll just see how long that takes. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for joining me and let's go, let's go look at my crazy blush collection because there's a lot. Hi there everyone, it's Misty here from the Joy Fun of Happy Friday. Thank you so much for joining me in another card, for another card in my 2020 holiday card series. You guys, this one, this was meant to be the very first video that I did in this holiday card series. And unfortunately, I just didn't get around to doing it, but I've finally done it. And we're using a non-Christmas set. So I want you guys to think outside the box when it comes to holiday cards. You don't have to use just holiday images. You can pull any critter as long as they're not in like a bathing suit. Unless you're in Australia, unless if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, that's that use some summer images, you know what I mean? So in this video, like I said, we're gonna be using the hang, hanging with my gnomies, I think it's what it's called from my favorite things. And I have created a Smurf card. <laughs> I can remember being in kindergarten and after a fundraiser winning like a, a it was either a puzzle or a puzzle book or something or a game with the Smurfs and that was a long time ago y'all that was like 38 years ago but I still remember it so when I saw this I that's where immediately where my head went for Christmas was just like the Smurfs just celebrating Christmas so um the Smurfs wear Papa Smurf wears red but everybody else wears white so I've taken the liberty to kind of change things around a little bit um as far as clothing and stuff, but I think this is just gonna be really, really fun. I looked up images of their houses and they're fun and colorful. I mean, it's been eons since I watched the video. Eons, or a, a show. 
of it. So, or episode, that's the word I'm looking for. So I hope you like this card as much as I do. Make sure, it's been my favorite things week, hasn't it? Yeah, because I did the polar bear on Monday too. Huh, I didn't plan that, but there you go. <laughs> so let's head over to my craft table and we'll get started. Ooh. All right, I'm done. 